Can you hear me now? Yes. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> I did turn it on, but for some reason, the device wasn't synced to my microphone. And I have no idea why. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> uh, g Marate, I think that's how you say it. Thank you so, so much. Oh my God, I've been talking for a while, haven't I? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. Sorry. Right. I'm here. I'm back. Hello. <laughs> I was talking about Botany Manor, basically, and what the game is about. Um, But, so, we are playing Botany Manor on Nintendo Switch today to see what the game is all about. We are playing it on Nintendo Switch because I like to play games on the Nintendo because some of the games have like glitches and bugs and they're not very like optimised for Nintendo Switch. So I want to see what the game is like and if it runs like smoothly and things so you can see what it's like before you go out and buy it, which is what I love to do. So we're going to do that. It came out yesterday, Botany Manor. It came out on Steam, on Xbox, PlayStation, and on Nintendo Switch, I believe. So, it's all about you playing as a character called Arabella, I believe. And it's a first-person game, and it's a puzzle game where the plants are puzzles. So you are a botanist, and you have to grow the plants in a certain way based on the puzzles that you are given so i'm very excited about this one i got to play it as a demo in steam next fest which was in february i believe uh january february sometime ish and it was really fun so i'm excited about this one to see what it's all about oh yeah I've uh, got a co uh, hot chocolate today, which is nice, nice and warming. And we're going to play that. Um, if you can see, this is my little puppy here. She's cold today. So I've wrapped her in a little blankie here. So you can just see like her head poking up here. <laughs> so she is here, but she is snoring away. And yeah, she's cold. So that if you see any movement like here that's why that is a dog <laughs> and she's kind of like crumpled the bed it's not my fault it looks a bit of a mess it's not my fault i promise so let's get to it shall we so this is what the game looks 
like let me just turn down the music just a tad okay i think that should be okay but please please let me know if it's not if it needs to be like louder or things because on my end it's always a bit like quiet which annoys me so just let me know if it's bad or anything because i don't have like proper you know like when you have like speakers on your setup where you can hear the sound i don't have that so yeah so we're gonna go straight in to options because it's first person mode sorry i dropped my controller because it's first person mode i i and a lot of people get motion sickness so i want to look at the accessibility around that and just the general accessibility i like to look at that and see what you can change and i know botany manor said in their on their website that they have quite a few accessibility options before they were going to release the game so i want to see what the accessibility options are and this is all to do with the camera i might leave that for now and then just kind of like mess around with it while we play they have an accessibility feature which is nice oh sprint toggle toggle between walking and sprinting i do like that yeah i'm gonna do that toggles toggles to zoom in rather than holding down the zoom button i don't know whether i need that <laughs> adds a subtle acceleration when moving the player don't think i want camera transitions enables camera transitions when inspecting clues oh i'm not sure maybe leave that one i do want a crosshair because i get very motion sick and i'm really sorry <laughs> like i need like a, a massive like arrow or something in the middle oh and you can use a sink you can use a single um nintendo switch to move and rotate the camera that's handy i like that oh motion sickness okay so botany manor is a first person game which may cause some people motion sickness. The below option may reduce or alleviate that. Hover over each setting for more information. So, I, do, I think I might keep that the same. Oh, I do want, actually, I want a really good field of view. I like it when it's like really big and you can see a lot of things. So I'll, I'll leave that i don't want a vinaigrette so that is when so a vinaigrette is when it browns the outside of the screen so it looks kind of like mm, kind of like a 1960s like vintage photo vibe that kind of thing i don't like that <laughs> and then it says add subtle acceleration when moving disabling this might help do i disable it and then add it if i want it maybe we could do that yeah and then this gives you the crosshair and the single stick okay audio i went into audio already because i sorted all that before and then this gives you the controls which hopefully that should tell you how to use it while you're in the game hopefully so let's start and uh, see what the game's like. I'm interested to see if they made any changes during the demo as well. Because in the demo you got to do two of the plants. You started in a greenhouse and you got to do one plant which was changing the humidity of the plant so it grew. And then another plant was you got to go wander into a house and then you had to make a special like scientific 
um, what's the word, scientific formula to take a picture and then that picture made the plant grow. So that was fun. So, so L is to walk and R is to look around. Oh, okay, that's really quick. Yeah, I need to change that. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is that so quick? <laughs> okay, let's change that to and then see what that does. That's still really quick. I'm literally like pressing it like so, so delicately. Oh god. Hold on. <laughs> can i do it all the way down there we go that should yeah that is better <laughs> that is what we want okay there's no cro where did the crosshair go there's also no crosshair on the screen and i asked for a crosshair okay one second see this let's show a crosshair do i need to go this way resume oh okay now there's a crosshair it's tiny options can i make it bigger then what happens if i do that okay don't know what happened don't know what happened this is why we test these things to see what happens <laughs> so yeah it is isn't it it's really like calming and soothing i really like it yeah i like i love games that are like um interactive and have this kind of like like almost meditative soundtrack a really nice one as well is um have you ever played Fay farm because that has a really nice soundtrack as well Fay farm has a really good soundtrack and it really like immerses you in the game so have you ever played Fay farm like it's a completely different vibe <laughs> compared to this game but so lady arabella we're so happy to have you back at botany manor i hope you had a lovely trip in your absence i'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated though i can assure though though i can assure you we tried our best to keep things in order i hope it doesn't affect your research too much today Oh, i can rotate it Ooh, there's nothing on the back text overlay oh that's quite cool okay yeah. nice and then this is shimmering collect parcel arabella green botany manor oh is it there it's in the uk <laughs> Aww, that's really cute. I don't get many UK games. Ooh, Forgotten Flora. A herbari her herbarium by Ella Arabella Green. I've played Fay Farm, but couldn't get into it for some reason though. Oh, oh yeah i get i kind of get that it depends yeah it depends what you're looking for like you can't really talk to any of the villagers so that can put some people off um and yeah it cut like in the beginning it was really difficult to get into but like as I went through the seasons, it was a lot easier. Um, but in the beginning, 
it didn't really like guide you through or anything so you had to like know that you were playing a farming game and knew about other farming games already i think yeah but i i love fay farm and i still i still play fay farm i love fay farm but yeah i can see how it was difficult to get into if i hadn't played farming sims in the past if that makes sense so like if i hadn't played for example like stardew valley which gives you like no instructions <laughs> it just like it's just like throws you in it's a bit like that it gives you some instructions but like not a lot and it's a bit like that like stardew valley is really difficult for me because it, it gives you like nothing mayflower publishing house dear arabella green thank you once again for submitting your book proposal forgotten Flor flora please send this empty her is it herb herborum herborum is that how you say it back to us once you have completed your research and we'll be in touch with a potential offer sincerely mayflower publishing house Ooh, there's an index oh, um, okay there's a lot going on there's a lot going on maps a fresh start survivors of adversary ad ad adversity <laughs> I know what I'm trying to say, but it's not coming out. It's not coming out my mouth, but I know what I'm trying to say. Adversity. Peculiar petals, botanical allies, and climbing up. So are these different plants, different flowers? Oh. Oh, I think, hold on, my thing was still, there we go, correct. Maps. Rounds, gra oh, okay, so it tells you on the, what we're looking at, left hand side. Ground floor, first floor, second floor. Oh, there's quite a lot then. Ooh, oh, and it gives you clues, okay. So there's a lot to go through them. I like more natural scenery, more adult games like this one. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I get you, yeah. Yeah, Fate Farm is, yeah. It's mainly the graphics, isn't it? It's a bit, not childish, but like a bit more like cutesy, like a bit more animatory kind of graphic -y. so yeah i get that yeah whereas this one because it's like a first person you can kind of like imagine the character almost or imagine yourself playing as the character so this one is even though it's like kind of cute and the graphics aren't quite real life but they're like very similar you can kind of like imagine who the character is that way so yeah i get that one Ooh. is it supposed to be this it's like foggy i, I can't see anything okay right let's let's try this Ooh. text overlay zoom is zr this one on this one. Oh, I get it. So you have to hold it and then this one? No. It you just have to hold it. None of these work with it. You just what's the point of zooming then? The zoom does nothing because I can't see the daffodil underneath if I zoom. Okay, fine. <laughs> So there's a windmill wart, a checkered lily, a sword lily, and a daffodil. Fine. That's fine. I can do that. And then these tell you the... Oh! Oh! Clues! Okay. Okay. 
yeah i think that's it i like to be able to imagine myself there yes yeah and then first person is very easy to do that because you get to imagine yourself doing these things and like um with botany manor you can imagine yourself um being a botanist and planting these plants and then creating them as well another good one actually for first person is garden like if you've ever seen that recently got into that on nintendo switch and i played it on holiday i really liked it that much and it's really fun and that's first person as well and it's where you actually get a garden you get a garden plot and then you plant flowers and you have to water them and take care of them and like fertilize them and you it's basically gardening but on a nintendo switch it's really fun <laughs> which you wouldn't imagine it would be but it is it's really good okay important clues get added oh god i nearly dropped my hot chocolate jesus <laughs> Important clues get added to the, oh, Herborum, I think. That's what, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say Herborum, where you can assign them to plants. If you're stuck, tracking clues can help you organise and validate your research. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing I've got to make a windmill wart. I want you to grow the windmill wart to filter the smoggy air in my conservatories. Okay, so it is it is supposed to be there. <laughs> hello, hello, Julia Plays. How are you? Welcome in. How's your day today? Yeah, I've never tried. It's called um, Garden Life. Yes. Have a look at it. I, I'm not, not trying to, but I have a video on it um you don't have to watch it just google garden life and have a look at it but it is a first person game and it is about gardening and it's really good <laughs> i've been waiting for this game yes it came out yesterday and we are playing it on nintendo switch but it came out i think it came out on steam on xbox and playstation and on nintendo switch i think it's like on the four ones um don't quote me on it but i think it is um so i need to filter the smoggy air so that's why it's smoggy but i'll need to research its temperature requirements first okay so it's the windmill wart so that's what we're looking for so it is it's this pretty pink flower up here i don't even need to press a i can see it here a Oh, pardon me, sorry. A volcanic flower. Volcanic flower. Okay. Volcanic flower. So ideal soil temperatures for Mediterranean flowers. Volcanic flowers are range between 45 degrees and 60 degrees. Depending on where they're grown. Nice. Okay. So Spain, Portugal, France, Greece. Uh, it Sicily and Morocco. <laughs> right. Please forgive me about words today. Um, they're, um, I'm finding them difficult. I know. I know what I'm trying. Like I know what I'm trying to say in my head, but I'm finding them difficult to like say them. So I, I will get there. So, what have we got? So over here, a. Let's have a look. Potting instructions place pot on saucer i know like i've been trying all day they're they're here they're here i can literally see them in my head but they're just not coming out here i'll get there it's fine it's fine it's one of those days we all have them it's one of those days you know whatever it's fine <laughs> place pot on saucer add soil to the pots plant a seed and then water the seed okay place pot on saucer Add soil, plant a seed, water the seed. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. So, the pot is already on the saucer. Are these the seeds I need? Yeah. Okay. 
got it. I haven't filled in all the right clues for this plant. Oh, so do I need to do uh, uh do I need to add more clues? Do I need to add more clues? How do I do that? Let's go around. Go around. Oh here. This is something. Somerset. The Somerset Gazette. 19th of September 1890. Oh, we like, are we back in time? Are we in like 1890? Somerset falls victim to industrial smog. I can barely see. Horse bus drivers refuse to work in these conditions. Uh, rotate. Huh. yeah like this is really cool if it was like in the 1890s um there's nothing here though okay oh there's something here a postcard from marie marianne oh this is pretty isn't she oh god um like <laughs> I like, need to do this. <laughs> um, let's do the text over. <laughs> There's no way I'm reading that. <laughs> to Lady Arabella Green, Botany Manor, Somerset, England. Dearest Arabella, on my hike, I came across the windmill wart. Yep, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Some locals told me that the flower bud has air purifying qualities but due to its bespoke temperature requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory. Your friend and peer, Mary Anna. Ooh, okay, Sicily. So we need to go back over here to this one. Ooh. So it's a volcanic flower that grows in Sicily. So we need 60 degrees 60 degrees how do i get back to that book um how do i get back to that book no minus no no that zoom no y no x x you press x <laughs> oh do i can i add the clue I can add the clue. Uh, what does that do? Oh, okay. So I just add these myself. Interesting. Right. So you go around, look for them all, and then add them, I guess? So does that mean now I can create the flower? Let's, let's try it. Let's try it. So, how do I, how do I add, right, soil, soil, soil seeds, ah, and then water, yeah? Okay, you just press them, it doesn't need to do much. Okay, then grab it, and I need to put it somewhere where do i put it oh this is cute can i put it down oh i can put it down like i need to put it somewhere like properly oh here here yeah because there's a there's a tray there heat vent but it needs to be 60 doesn't it but if i follow the pipe okay Ooh. okay so it's 20 now so do i turn this to make it 60 30 40 50 60 okay and then so then i press this open air vent heat vent happening oh. Oh, wow. 
Oh, it's really cute! Oh, it changed! The windmill wart naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a soil temperature of 60 degrees. The bud contains air, air purifying qualities, so the flower can filter its environment from dense smog. Oh wow, look at this! Whoa! Oh my god! It's so cool! Like, look how clear it is now! You can see everything! Yeah, this is this is so fun! Okay, where do we go now? Can we go out here? Yeah, it's got an A! Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Look at it. Oh. Wow. Okay. I'm guessing I need to follow the path, right? Press A. This is harder to do with one hand. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is harder to do when I'm trying to drink a hot chocolate. Ooh. Ooh. What's that? It looks like a castle. Like, it doesn't look like a manor house. It looks like a castle. Right. Is this a dead end? Which way do I go? This way? No, that looks like a dead end to me. Yeah, that's locked. Oh, the other way then. This way. Ooh, but there's a gate here too! shows you like the dots around there's like little white dots everywhere so it kind of shows you things to look at so like there's a white dot here and i'm guessing you can read it yeah botany manor home of the green family mm. and there's a dot here oh click key hey Okay, entrance garden. Um, here. I'm currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. Okay. Do you get to ring the bell? <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. Is that all I can look at? Yeah. Oh, and I, I can't go out this way, so I have to go back. Okay. Interesting. I mean, the, the plants do look like a little bit mushy, but maybe that's like the aesthetic. Like they're not, they're not, they haven't got any like lines down the leaves and like the, the little, what are they called? Like stems? But yeah, that's the aesthetic I think they're going for, which is really cute. They're not like super detailed, but I don't think it needs to be. And on the Nintendo Switch, I don't think that really matters, to be honest. So far, yeah, so far it looks good, yeah. And for the Nintendo Switch as well, so far it does look good. Yeah, because can you see like the roses? Do you can't see like the individual petals and stuff? And I, I don't think you need to particularly. I think that's kind of like the thing they're going for for this. I think it's kind of like, not abstracty, but like that kind of thing. Yeah, I think, I think you don't need to do that. 
It looks good enough. Ooh. Oh, is it the thing I looked through? Yeah. Oh, there's a little, there's a little tea set. Oh, this is so cute. Like, look how the light shines through that. That is really cute. Really cute. And like, even like on some Switch games, you don't get that at all. Like even this little light patch here, and they've even thought about like the little dirt patches underneath. Oh, can I press it? Walking stick. <laughs> well, I knew that. <laughs> okay, my dear friend. Oh, Clover Gardens, April 1889. 1889. Good luck on your trip. I would have loved to join you. Like in our younger days, but your, t but your tales about the trip will suffice when we next meet. I will never forget the, the Maria Jackson passage you once highlighted to me. In examining plates, you take the authority of others, whereas in botany, as in all other things, we can make little progress if we do not see for ourselves. Well, now you must travel and see some interesting specimens for yourself. I am inspired and look forward to hearing all about it. Your friend always, Eleanor. Oh, that's really cute. Oh. oh my god sit yes oh this is so cute oh my god i don't even need to play i can just sit here <laughs> oh oh this is so cute they thought about everything can i go through this door I can. This doesn't seem right. <laughs> I'm getting a bit sidetracked now. Just looking for like cute things. Orchard! Oh, it's locked. Okay. Wow. Maybe I should just go into this like massive house. Like, look at it! It's huge! It would be hard to do live streams, I think, you, I think, but you do fantastic. I have to go, but thank you for playing the game. I think I'll get it today. Oh, thank you so much for coming, Julia. That's okay. Thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day, wherever you are. And yeah, if you get Botany Manor, let me know. Let me know what you think as well um, afterwards. Maybe like in the comments of this or like in the community tab, something. Let me know what you think. I'd love to know. Like, how you get it? Do you Are you going to get it like Nintendo Switch or Steam or something? And let me know what you think. I'd love to know. Bab. Ooh, what's down here? Switch. Ooh, perfect. Yeah, let me know what you think. After you've played it for a few times. <laughs> oh! Oh my god, look at this! Oh. oh, oh my god, this is beautiful. Can I live here? <laughs> oh my god! Stop. What? I do need to go, I do need to go in the house at some point, but the grounds locked from the other side the grounds are just beautiful oh oh i can go this way i'm gonna get lost but i i don't really care this is like a maze oh it, oh okay right okay yeah what's that up there like floating oh okay it's in a it's in a like a pot but it didn't load in straight away Okay, that's not the best graphic wise because you can see it out of the pot but i mean meh, it's one of these it's like a ball 
but then it's got like spiky things. Th those are weird. I do have to say those are weird. But other than that, everything else is okay. <laughs> right, let's go in here and see what we have. So, oh, there's a duck. I can press it. White duck. <laughs> this is weird. Okay. <laughs> Some of the things that you can press are so weird. So, there's nothing around here. There is a potting station, which is cool. But we only have that one seed, so I don't think we need to pot that. I do like more details in the greenhouse, but it's... Oh, I do like more details in the greenery, but it's still a beautiful game. Yeah, so like, yeah. Like, as I was pointing out earlier, like the roses, they don't have like the individual petals that you can get. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I don't know whether they're going... I don't know whether they're going for that kind of simplicity graphic wise or whether it's just a switch thing because sometimes it is a switch thing because the graphics can't stand up to what's on steam or on xbox because i've played games in the past like if you ever saw the stream that i did with lake the video game that was awful and the graphics were just awful on that um so sometimes they can't just go up to the steam the street sometimes the graphics won't go up to steam level so i don't know whether they're going for this kind of graphic effect for the switch and it's on all devices or whether it's just Nintendo Switch that has this kind of effect, if that makes sense. I'd be interested to see other people play um, Botany Manor. So, like, one of my friends, Cozy Gaming Club, they've got a video out. I'm going to watch that afterwards and see if they've played it on steam and see what the graphics are like on that oh i tried the demo on the pc and it's the same oh okay so yeah so they're going for this kind of like like not mushy graphics but like sim simple graphics so i guess that it suits every device that way so they don't have to try and optimize it for different devices and they don't have to worry about people comparing the devices that way. So it, it kind of makes sense. It makes it easier for the developers that way as well. They don't have to keep like patching and doing all this stuff to try and get it to a better quality. What's this one? The Hopgood Household, July 1890. My dearest Arabella. I hope this letter finds you well as you set off for London on your important trip. The thought of you in the bustling city working on your ambitions both excites and worries me. Time has indeed passed and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring too. Oh, to me. <laughs> Wait, your field remains inspiring to me. I never imagined all those years ago that we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavours. Our fifth decade? What, so she's like, so she's like 50, Arabella? Is that right? Oh, sorry. <laughs> decade, a decade is 10, so she's 50. 50 in 1890. I look forward to hearing about your progress and of course let me know how I can be of assistance upon your return. Your loving sister Elizabeth. Oh. Oh that's really cute. Okay. Oh and there's some more pots here. So I could place the flowers here if I wanted to. 
I wonder if you can just like create flowers at any point afterwards. Can I can I open this? Yes. Ooh. Survivors of adversity. Oh, two new plants added. Okay, so we're in a new chapter then. Can I is that just for sitting? A. Yes. What is that? Oh, there's a thing there. I guess we have to fix this at some point. Fix this tree. Interesting. There were some things here that I wanted to look at. Okay. Lady Arabella Green, I'm pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete. Carefully tracing your history of your lineage. As per your request, I have altered the customary I have altered the customary presentation, now displaying the maiden names of the ladies in your family, rather than their current names acquired through marriage. Ooh, okay. Should you require any further adjustments or have additional inquiries, I remain at your service. Yours, Robert Hinchley, genealogist. I got that word. <laughs> I'm proud of myself, I got that word. Ooh. Oh, okay, so can we see when she was born? Let's have a look. Arabella... Arabella Mary Green, 1835. Oh, ooh. So this is this is like back in time. We're in 1835. Well, no. So we're in 1890 now. Wow. Oh my god. And she's got she's got just one sister who is Elizabeth Ann Green. But she has a niece, a niece, Florence Mary Hopgood. Wow. Yeah. Who was born in 1863. Oh, and then she has some cousins, I guess. Yeah, she has two cousins. So William Henry and Thomas. And because her mom yeah, her mum had a sister called Agnes, who was married to Henry. Oh. And then her dad, who's called Augustus, also has a brother called Theodore, but he has no children. Oh, wow. This is so cool. I love this family tree. Oh, this is so pretty. I wonder if this is going to come in handy at some point. Like whether we need to know about this. Um, Which way do we go? Which way do we go? Oh, there's a dot here. And a letter. There's a letter. Taunton to London, London Pannington. The Taunton is in Cornwall in the UK. So like very, very south. And to London Paddington. Well, I didn't know you could get a, from Taunton in the 1890s. Obviously you could. Wow. It would have been like for, like for now, it's probably like three hour train drive three hour train Pro probably more it's like it's a long way it's a long way and trains are not quick here not at all issued for return journey first class elderly discount applied 8th of july 1890 yeah so she's over 50 then if that's her her ticket 9th of July 1890 oh so does she live near Taunton then hold on let me google because I want to see Somerset 
und so. Yeah, so Taunton is in Somerset. I just wanted to double check whether... So Somerset is the county that um, is in the UK, in England. So we have counties in England, not states, like states in America. So we have England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, and then they're broken up into counties. Um, so you have like Somerset... I can't think of anything else. Uh, West Midlands, uh, Hereford, Worcestershire. Uh, I can't think of anything up north. London is like a, a one. And then you've got like loads of other ones. They're broken up. So Somerset is one. Mm, and then Taunton is a town. So she lives there. Wow. Or I guess near Taunton. I wonder if the developers like live in England. So do I go? Should I go this way? Because I, I was here. This is where the postcard was. The stairs. Ooh. Oh, collect seeds. Okay. Oh, oh, it flipped. Okay. A fulgaria? Fulga fulgaria? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> I came across this when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. I'm interested to learn more about its growth requirements. Ooh. I think this is the one I had to do in the demo, I think. Will you take a photo of it? I think. Blurry photograph. Camera. Oh, hold on, my mouse is in the way. Camera experiment one. I purchased a new camera and flash lamp to document my flowers. The picture looks a little blurry though. I have to investigate the camera settings. Okay. Oh, there's some more. Camera. Camera experiment three. The picture is so dark, impossible to see the flowers. I can't believe how quickly I have run out of that incredible, expensive flash powder. Oh, yes, yeah, so it's flash powder. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm very pleased with this picture. Looks like I'm getting the hang of the camera. Ooh. I am getting the hang of the camera, actually. <laughs> oh, Dot's here. Oh, hold on. Arabella's parents. Oh, that's cute. Can I go? Can I go up the stairs? Oh, hold on. There was a dot somewhere. Where was the dot? Where was the dot? No. I swear there was a dot. Must be seeing things. I must be seeing things. Oh, look at all the little planties. Oh, they're the cacti. You can sit here, which is cute. Can I go up here? Oh, it looks locked. Okay. Oh, oh it's a letter lock. So you could literally sit here and go through all the all the letters. Okay. <laughs> I won't be doing that. Ooh. Oh, pretty. Blocked by tree. Okay, so yeah, I'm guessing you need a plant to like unblock it. Um to help unblock it. Okay, so it's not this way. Uh good to know. Other way then. Uh, where did I come in? This way? Oh, did I try this door? Hey, I did not try this door. Ooh. Okay. This kind of looks familiar. This bit. Okay. 
A. Art of painting. Okay. Painting book. I can't open it though. Sorry, just finish off my last of my hot chocolate. And we're good. So, what's through here? Because there was loads of stuff here. But I think this is just to use it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know what to use. So that doesn't help. Um, Anything I can look at here? Ew. No, this chair's to sit on. Oh, 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 book, 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 book. Some ancient Celtic tribes practiced a coming of age ritual. This meant that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves worthy, worthy of staying in the tribe. One of these rituals involved picking a flower in the woods. Though not just any flower, of course, the gatherer had to find a fulguria. A fulguria. For this, for this flower is known to only bloom during thunderstorms. Keeping a cool head while lightning flashes were striking left and right of you was considered the ultimate test of courage. Oh, okay, you can't go any further. Interesting. Ooh. That sounds very scary. That sounds very scary. Anything in here? Anything at all? There's an A. Photograph! Arabella and Elizabeth! The, that's her sister! Oh, I like that they've included like little family photos and stuff. They're really cute. Right, so. Can you look in the mirrors? No, the mirrors are too tall. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. So. Can, you can sit in the chairs. Interesting um and on the sofa oh there's some stuff here let's have a look there's some stuff here your new lumen photograph photographic flash lamp better results guaranteed fill the container with flash powder cover the container press the button connected to the camera and the lumen flash lamp witness a bright flash oh it's from bond street in london okay oh okay gotta remember this all haven't i fill the container with flash powder close the container press the button okay and what's this spectacles <laughs> but it just gives you some random things to look at so over here yeah that's where i started so let's look at this one click e Ooh. back terrace so can i add stuff photographs grand staircase folklore book and flash lamp manual so i need two more clues two more clues Oh, I'm guessing it's here, right? Flash powder. Watson. 57. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. 57 net weight. Okay. Warning. Highly combustible. Bottle contains 57 grams of flash powder. The chemical composition is potassium and magnesium. Two to one ratio. Okay, so we've got to remember potassium and magnesium. 
Oh, so those things out the other way, those bottles, that's what we needed to do, wasn't it? Potassium and magnesium. Right. Okay. From Farmer Charles, Lady Aravella. These past weeks, I have been seeing lots of bright flashes coming from the dark room of your house. It scares my cows immensely as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this. And if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's cool. Right. So what is this stuff? What have we got? So a button. Uh, oh, so this must be the flash thing. Put it the thing, put it in the container, close the container, press the button. So that must be that. And then do you take the picture? You take the picture. And put the plant there. Right. Okay. We've got, we're getting somewhere. We've got this. We've got this. Right. Let's do it. Potassium magnesium? Potassium, potassium, magnesium, right? Two to one. So add two potassium, one magnesium. Oh God. Right, so that's that. How do I pop the plant? Do I go all the way over here? All the way out, I'm guessing. Outside. Yeah. Okay, so soil, plant, water. Okay, cool. So back this way. I'm guessing I can't pick up two things at once because that would be easy. That would make it too easy then far too easy so put the plant on here oh should i just double check actually double check potassium magnesium two to one yeah i think we got it right potassium magnesium potassium magnesium do, 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 do. Let's give it a go. Okay. Yeah. Oh. oh, it gives you a handy little thing. You dunk it in, right? Okay. Dunk it in. Close it. Press the button. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, I like this. Okay. The full ghoul. Oh, this plant only grows during thunderstorms, where the flashes of lightning provide the bright light the flower needs to bloom. Because of its dangerous growing conditions, not many people have witnessed its beauty. Oh, that's so cute. Right, I need to add these two in, don't I? <laughs> Wow. Oh, this is awesome. Can I take this somewhere then? Can I? Um. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> What's maps? Can I? Oh, wow. So the place that I have been isn't like all the way not everything the ground floor though interesting library hall i haven't been to yet haven't been to the second floor okay right can i put the flask somewhere i can let me put it down 
I want to pick up this plant. I want to put it somewhere. Like somewhere pretty. Where can we put it? Um, because I don't think I'm ever going to come to this place again. Maybe in the hallway would be nice. Like on this table, this would be cute. Like here. Yeah. Because I'm going to come to this hallway again, I reckon. So, what do I need to do now? Where do I go now? Oh, I got that key, didn't I? That was it. I got that key. Um, X. Back terrace. Back terrace. How do I get to that then? Is there a back door somewhere? Um, there a back door. Mm, there's a window. Hmm. There are windows here. Maybe it. Oh, is it out in the garden somewhere? That I just like haven't been to yet. What was this way? Oh, what was this? Kitchen. Locked. Okay. Oh, ooh. what's this? Dartmoor. Travel by train to Dartmoor all year round. Home of breathtaking sights. The Hound Tour. Wistman's Wood. Becky Falls. The Dartmoor Line wow that's so cool i haven't been down here this one the pyrophils book pyrophils fire has the potential to be among the most devastating forces of nature yes it does despite this humans have developed the ability to invent wield, and attempt to manage it Meanwhile, certain species in the plant kingdom have evolved to adapt and flourish in the face of fire. In areas where forest fires occur frequently, uh, pyrophilus have learned to rely on fire as a crucial part of their life cycle. Their seeds typically possess tough shells and some pyrophils only bloom when surrounded by smoke aromas from their natural habitats. Oh wow, that's so cool. I love that it tells you about these plants. Ah, back terrace. Okay, what's this one? Painting room. So we go out here. We go out here. Oh, what time is it actually? Hold on one second. Oh, let me it's four o'clock so popsicle wants feeding let me just feed her it will take like two seconds because otherwise she'll start barking and we don't want that Okay. So you might hear some crunching in the background. <laughs> it is literally her. She um she does like to crunch. Looked from other side. Oh, okay. So not that way. Oh my god. Wow, we're up high. Yeah, there's not it's not fantastic but i mean you can kind of make out what that is like the fields over there i'm guessing that's another house there there's a house there like it looks okay not bad it's pretty enough 
yeah but I, I like the graphics closer up than far away oh okay there's a potting bench here that is handy um what have we got what have we got what have we got oh half eaten sandwich somebody didn't finish it oh okay this is the back of the rooms we were just in here this is the dining room flowering plants great britain by anne Pratt. okay i mean i don't know why you can pick up the books because you can't actually read them <laughs> can't do anything with them wow look at the hill oh my god I mean, it's quite nice that it like fades into the distance because that kind of means that the graphics, you can't see like most of the graphics. So that makes sense, really. It kind of looks better that way rather than like the graphics like glitching out or something. It makes it easier for the eyes, if that makes sense. So let's go all the way down. Let's see what is here. Oh. Ooh. okay plant plant seeds we've got ash bloom this might be a tough case to crack ah oh, is that what we read can i put that clue in already a dharma poster is the clue i don't think so but okay so seed log arabella green 1890 a summary of some seeds I've gathered this year and the location I found them at. Crow Parsley, Blake Down Hills. Poppy, Cheddar Grove, go, Cheddar Gorge, sorry. Buttercups, the Steart Marshes. Ash Plume is Wistman's Wood. Oh, so that is why the poster was needed because it was Dartmoor. So Wistman's Wood was in Dartmoor wood um enemy 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 is that how you say it is holford comb wild time is colburn wood and fox glove is ford asby assy abby abby you think abby can i zoom in yeah abby ford abby one second i even want to let you out one sec Called Abby. I think that is. So yeah, so that is why that Dartmoor clue is there because the seed is from Wistman's Wood, which is in Dartmoor. I don't know why we need that yet, but we've got it. So let's have a look. What else do we need? formal garden oh my god there's more <laughs> there's more stuff can't go in there yet though okay stuff on here yes uh, da -da 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 -da. dear friend arabella from rosewood house 5th of may 1890 a friend of mine visited the americas and brought back a pair of fabulous gray squirrels they are the latest trend in garden decorations all of my neighbours have sent for them as well. It was a great investment. The two squirrels have now started a big family and my garden is full of the darling little critters. Oh my god! Is this how the squirrels... Is this real? Is this how squirrels started? One thing I did notice is that I haven't seen a red squirrel in my garden for some time now. How odd... You must visit soon and see the squirrels for yourself. Ever yours, Grace. Right, so one of the facts I know about squirrels is grey squirrels are really bad. They're really um, aggressive and they kill red squirrels. 
they're really aggressive to other animals and so because she's bought red uh, gray squirrels and said that they made a little um family they've started to make little critters and that she hasn't seen red squirrels in her garden for a while now um yeah that might be why they're they're not very good gray squirrels aren't very nice to red squirrels or uh yeah so in in the uk now we have a problem where gray squirrels are overtaking and we don't have many red squirrels left <laughs> because of the gray squirrel population Ooh. so if that is true and that's how that started like people in 1890s brought over the gray squirrels from america like that is that is mad wow mad can i go in here Locked from other side, okay? Oh, there's something here. Collect key. Kitchen key! Hey, look at this! Okay, Thursday. Hazel Patterson. Oh, from the kitchen! Jimmy broke another mortar. That boy really needs to learn how to grow in spices without breaking down my kitchen lady arabella may not be the best please with me asking for a new one the last mortar took years to be sorted she is so scatterbrained always off on her fancy research trips so the shopping list is flour egg milk leeks potatoes and carrots i don't think i need that yet i think this one is okay i think this is like a store for later um clue Oh, are these supposed to be potatoes they look a bit odd i'm not gonna lie they <laughs> the carrot looks okay but the potato looks a little bit like bread I'm not gonna lie <laughs> okay so what do um what do i do there? what's my next what's my next option have a look minik's clue yeah i don't have any more clues might be a tough case to crack i don't have any more clues for it mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. do i have to go in the kitchen then is that what i have to do next because mm. i got the seed i can plant the seed but like it doesn't do won't do anything yet will it like what am i supposed to do with the dartmoor information um hmm do look i can plant it so if i press a and then I plant this one and then water it. Okay, I can take it with me somewhere. Maybe into the kitchens. Maybe that's where I take it with me because I don't think there's anywhere down here. The other one was locked. Yeah, there's no place down here. Hmm, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go to the kitchen then. Let's do that. Ash boom. This is locked. Yeah, locked from the other side. Uh, is the kitchen here? Painting room. No. Kitchen is this way. Yeah. So here, look, it says Dartmoor. Travel by train to Dartmoor. Hunt, Hound Tour, Wisman's Wood, and Becky Falls, the Dartmoor line. So that's got something to do with it. Mm. Oh, can I not look at anything now that I've got the thing in my hand? Interesting. Okay. Unlocked. 
unlock. Okay. Oh, it's down. Okay, I didn't expect that for a kitchen. Oh, I guess it's the 1890s. So, if I put my pot just here for now, I'm going to see what else is around here. Like, what things we need to look at. There's a seat. Kindling? Oh, there's a letter in the kindling. Okay. So, um, can I zoom in? No. Can't read the top line. Cottage something? June 1893. Dear Lady Green, we received your letter applying to study botany in our College of Natural Sciences along with your enclosed drawing. We do not at present have and have never admitted women to study at our college. Botany is a serious science conducted in laboratories and lecture halls. By all means, continue to pursue, pursue your hobby, tending to your garden and domestic space where it may be appreciated. Positions at the college are reserved for serious scholars who study whose studies will go on to be well utilized in a career in botanical experimentation. Therefore, with all politeness, really politeness that was not polite, we do not offer these valuable positions to amateurs that should otherwise be taken up by genuine academics. Signed Professor John Alt Alt Ring Alt Ringham. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, women weren't allowed to study back then. Broken mortar. Society of Historian Southwest Group. Monthly lecture open to all society members. The history of Dartmoor given by a residential natural history professor. The professor will present how the moor was once covered in ma majestic forest and woods and how early settlers came to the area and, cl and cleared most of the trees for pasture using fire as their method of choice. It promises to be a fa fa no. <laughs> it promises to be a fascinating story of how the moorland we know and love today came into existence. Wow, did that really happen? I need to do some googling after because if that really happened, that's amazing. So Hazel's priceless recipes for the home, farm, workshop, and every department of human endeavor. Oh my god, there's so much. Okay, roasted chestnuts. This is a simple recipe, perfect for warm cup. Perfect to warm those cold winter nights. You can use any edible chestnuts. They are easily foraged. The main difficulty with chestnuts is that they have a tough shell, but likely they're easy to crack open with the help of fire. <gasps> like a seed. Simply place the nuts in a pan above the fire and wait until you hear a pop. This means your chestnuts are likely roasted and ready to eat. Oh, is this like the the plant then? Is that what I do with the plant? Interesting. Oh, something up here. I cannot see that. Blessed in this kitchen by grace and holy light, may all those who enter find comfort and respite. Blathe, bless in this heath with laughter and with cheer may the love shed here be held forever dear to those who serve the lord who seek their sanctuary rem remember the year of concentration for this friends is the key a religious blessing okay nice oh with candles around it oh that's quite cute that is quite cute um right so i'm guessing we have to do the the plant like the chestnuts but how we do that is another thing what is this mysterious symbol 
Oh, okay. It's a sheep with an England flag. I mean, it's not that mysterious. What am I doing here? Do I... Uh, okay. Why am I lifting this up? Shouldn't it go down? Oh, okay. That is my dog to come in. One second. Okay, hopefully she's done coming in, but like going in and out, but we never know. She's a dog. Um, we never know with her. Sometimes she's fine, sometimes she's not. Oh, can I put it up here then? So we hear a pop? What was all the scales about though? Um go in here let me just see what else is here to someone special okay dear hazel i picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up when you're done with your work in the kitchen would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the back garden the pond is lovely this time of year warm regards mr bennett oh that's so cute that's so cute there's another duck! A porcelain duck! Got a white one and a porcelain one. Oh, a poem? The ancient oaks stand torn in whist. Let's start again. Let's start again. The ancient oaks stand tall in Wistman's wood. Covered in moss. No, moss. I can talk, I promise. Covered in moss, they withstood the test of time. Though none can tell the sorrows that did befell those trees in Wistman's wood. Interesting game. So many details and clues. Thank you so much for playing the game. Always a delight and calming to listen to your voice. I have to go. Bye next time. Oh, thank you so much. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Thank you so much. And have an amazing day wherever you are. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. We do stream every uh, Monday and Wednesday. So if you're ever able to check us out, that would be great. But if not, don't worry. Oh, this is where you get... Ah, okay, this is where... No, this is the different direction. Where am I? I thought I was back to where I started. Oh, logs, oak, maple, cherry, but Okay. I thought this was the back door to the other place. This is not. Okay. Interesting. Oh god, there's so much more. I thought there was I thought I was getting there. Home smoking and curing. Using the home smoker. The type of wood to use in your smokery is of great importance. Through which one to pick depends entirely on your personal tastes and preferences. Burning wood from different types of tree produces different chemical compositions in each type of smoke and has a great impact on the flavour of your smoked food. So in summary, choose your wood logs with care. Okay, so I don't, do I have to smoke this thing? Right, hold on, I'm going to sit i'm gonna sit down for this <laughs> i'm gonna just move my desk so it will go down <laughs> right so um do i go in the smokery then Oh, what is that? Smoked food. Ew. That looks nasty. Oh. 
that is the smokery. And that is a pot. So, do I have to put... Oh, do I have to put the right... Hmm. But it doesn't tell me about the wood. Let's have a look. Can I go into a can? Dartmoor lecture. Cooking book. So the poem was something. Oh, and the smoking book was something. Right. Okay, so I do need to smoke. So the poem was something. Right, let's have a look at the poem then. For this poem the ancient oaks stand tall covered in moss they withstand the test of time who none can tell so it's oak okay so i need oak i need oak trees okay let's try it then so i need to smoke this let's take this all the way outside Dum, 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 dum. and put it on here this and then get some oak wood yeah there's oak okay let's grab it do I need three pieces or just two we'll give it a go Oh, I put it here. Let's try more. Let's try more. One. Two. Oh, do I have to close the door? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I have to close the door. Maybe that's what I have to do. Okay. How long do I wait? Can I pick up more than one piece? No. Cannot be more than one piece. Ah. Well, that seems odd. Hmm, this doesn't seem right okay right what's the thing again what does it say the type of wood to use in your smoker is of great importance so which one to pick does have personal taste and preference burning wood from different types of tree produces different smoke this is due to different chemical use a wood loads with care okay still confused Hmm. Do I try a different wood? Maybe I'll try a different wood. Because the poem didn't help me. Maple? I definitely think it's oak though, but, you know, not helping. Okay, gotta go for a minute or two. A look. Hmm. 
Yeah, and I can't put it down there. It has to go on here. And it's not ash. Not maple. Let's try cherry. Let's try cherry. Dum dum dum. Can I jump? I can't jump. This one. Okay. Poem, cooking book, smoking book. See. No, that did not work either. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I think it's oak, but I think I need all three pieces. But I don't don't think I'm getting there quick enough, and I don't know how else to do it. because I don't know what the run button is either oh it's that button okay so the run button is L I mean I could try it but I can't pick up more than one thing at once so Oh, can I put it? I can put it there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I've, I've got it. Got an idea. Got an idea. So if I take them all like really close. Yeah. There. And then put them one on top of the other. Like now. Try this. Don't know whether it will work. Mm, doesn't look like it's working. working how do i do this Double check that poem. Just double check that poem. The ancient oaks stand tall, covered in moss, they withstand the test of time. Through none can tell the sorrows that did befell the trees in mist in Wistman's wood. The ancient oaks. See it does say oaks. Um <laughs> 
ancient oaks. That's the only thing I can think of that it is. Uh, that is oak. It doesn't say maple, cherry or birch. So that's the only thing I can think of that it says. And then this is type of wood is important. Choose your wood logs with care. And then I so I don't know what else to do to be honest. Unless I use more than three but then I'm not really sure what else I can use. Yeah, I think give you three. does not seem to be growing or changing or doing anything else even when I'm using the extras This one just doesn't work or I don't know what I'm doing wrong maybe I need to remake it yeah yeah oh no where's the where is it here <laughs> okay, so pot here, soil, seed, water. Okay, then I take it all the way here into the kitchen. That way, this way. And smoker. Here. And use some wood. Use some oak wood. Right, one more time. And then if not, I'm giving up because <laughs> I don't know, don't know what else it would be. One. 
to. Wait. And it's not doing anything. Bang button. No, no idea. It's got to be something to do with this. It's got to be, and something to do with the wood, but I have no idea. I don't know why it says oak and it won't let me use the oak, but yeah. I don't know. So, yeah. And I can't put it, can't put it on here, can I? Oh my god, is that it? And then I put it in the smokery. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. Hold on. It was a two parter, hold on. And then you do that. Oh my god. I was right. Oh my god. Oh. I should have just done it to start off with and not looked any further. Right, okay. Oh, so the ash boom is a pyrophil. Evolved to survive harsh forest fires. Its seed cracks open with extreme heat and afterwards the oak smoke from its inhabited whist man's wood indicates it's safe to bloom. Ah, oh, that took so, so long. Okay. Oh my god. Right. Well. After that. <laughs> I'm getting house delivery. Okay. Well. After that, I'm going to end the stream here because we have been streaming for two hours. And yeah, I really enjoyed this game. I had so, so much fun. It was really good. It actually didn't make me feel that much motion sick. I've got a like, slight little headache, but yeah, not, not, not as bad as other games, which is lovely. Um, yeah, slight little headache, but that will go in like an hour or so, which is fine. Um, and yeah, it's really good. The the graphics are, are, are good for the Nintendo Switch, to be fair. They've kind of made them so it runs on any device, I think. So it's okay. I, I don't mind it, to be honest. I quite like it. I'm enjoying it. Um, I want to say a big thank you to Botany Manor and Creators Connect who have given me the chance to play this game for free by giving me a code to this game for Nintendo Switch so thank you so so much for giving me it and letting you see what the game looks like so you can decide for yourself whether you want to buy it or not it doesn't mean I'm getting paid for this get for this um stream or that they even know that I'm streaming this game um it just means that I get to play it and so you guys can see it for yourself as well so it's really fun. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you have, thank you for chatting with me and subscribing and becoming members, things like that. So thank you so, so much. And yeah, we have a video coming out. Uh, what day is it? It's Wednesday, Thursday. We have a, day, a video coming out tomorrow, which is 
pool and then the next stream will be Tuesday. So yeah, I hope you have an amazing rest of the day wherever you are and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!